And you met Harvey Weinstein when? Soon after that, I was going to be working directly for him, doing errands, answering calls. I was very happy to be asked. He was charming. He was saying he'd heard how hard I worked and I was just excited. I was 21, you know, very young, but incredibly keen. So when he said he'd give me a permanent job at the London office, I felt so happy. He said that in the meeting? Yes. He was in his bathrobe when he opened the door, but I thought that was maybe very Hollywood. But quite soon into talking, he said, would I give him a massage? I said, no. He was very matter of fact. He said, it's not a romantic request. Everyone does it for him. It's part of the job. So I suddenly thought, that I was the problem, you know? That I was the one who was sexualizing it. That I was just young and uptight. So I put my hands on his shoulders, but I couldn't actually move them at all over his body. I just stood there, my hands wouldn't move. And then he, he said he would give me a massage first to relax me. And he said, look, all the girls do it. It's just work. And then he said, take your top off. Very matter of fact. Take your bra off. And I did. I was terrified, but I just thought, get through it, do it. And then my trousers were off and he was standing over me, masturbating. I asked him to leave me alone, but he kept asking for different things. And then he suggested a shower and I got up. And he carried on masturbating and I kept crying and I was sobbing and the water was pouring down and he was still masturbating. Then he got angry. I think my crying was so loud it put him off. And he left the bathroom and I locked the door. And I could still hear him on the other side, still the sounds of him masturbating. Finally, I went back into the room itself and grabbed my clothes and belongings and I just ran. I ran down the street. I've never run that fast in my life. How do you feel about it now? It dictated a certain direction my life took. But I just felt that it was this huge error of judgment that sort of marked me and all my decisions. And I felt such shame that I let him do that. Did you think that he had done the same to other girls? I thought that he must have tried it, but that they'd all, they'd all said no. It was like he t took my voice that day. Just when I was about to start finding it, 